Thank you for buying a Country Garden Swing. You will need the following tools to assemble your glider. A 7 16 wrench, 7 16 socket, or an adjustable wrench. A small hammer, a cordless driver set to low torque can speed assembly. Bowls to hold the hardware are helpful. Choose a clean, well-lit location to assemble your swing. Be sure the surface is not abrasive to protect the finish of your swing during assembly. Open the box and unwrap all the large components. Do not open the hardware until it is needed for assembly. All hardware is drawn to actual size on the hardware list page of the instructions. Place the hardware on the drawing to confirm you are using the correct part for each step. If anything is missing or damaged, please call our customer service department at 800-800-4950, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. English, Spanish, and French are supported. Open Hardware Bag HB4060. Use the hardware from Inner Bag IB4050. Attach the shape board to the swing supports using one and a half inch bolts and acorn nuts. Tap the bolt head lightly with a small hammer to set it in the hole. Note the center seat support does not have holes punched in its sides. Attach a slat to the front of the seat supports using one and a half inch bolts. Attach the remaining 13 slats to the seat supports. Acorn nuts should be used on the top nine holes Hex nuts should be used on the six holes that are under the seat. Use hardware from bags IB4120 and PP4075. Attach the wooden armrests to the arms using two inch bolts and hex nuts. Tighten the bolts. Attach the left and right arms to the seat assembly using two and a half inch bolts, square plastic spacers, and lock nuts. Assemble these components, but do not tighten the hardware. Use hardware from bags IB4130 and the chain bag. Before using the chain, inspect each link for flaws. Failure of the chain could cause serious injury. Should any defect be found, contact customer service at 1-800-800-4950. The two short arms of the Y-shaped chain should be attached to the seat frame. Use flathead bolts, metal spacers, and lock nuts to attach the chains to the front of the seat. Use flathead bolts, metal spacers, washers and lock nuts to attach the chains to the back of the swing seat. Repeat on other side. Square up the seat frame and tighten all hardware. The cordless driver with a 7 16 socket can be helpful. Set the driver to low torque. Do not over tighten the slats. Hardware should be tight, but the wood should not be crushed by the bolt head. The swing may be hung in a swing frame or from the ceiling of your porch. Jack Post makes a model WL70 swing frame, sold separately. If you are using a swing frame, assemble it now. If you are hanging your swing from your porch ceiling, use the ceiling hooks from the chain bag. Please refer to the diagrams in the owner's manual for proper installation of ceiling hooks. Drill a quarter inch diameter hole in the overhead joist for each ceiling hook. The hook should be screwed into the overhead joist as shown in figure A with a spacing of about 48 inches. Turn the ceiling hooks to the position shown so the lower portion moves freely with the motion of the swing seat. Note, if the desired location of the swing does not match the overhead joist location, a two x four header must first be attached to the joist and the ceiling hook screwed into the header is shown in figure B. Attach the swing's chain to the frame or ceiling hooks 
using the quick links. The quick link should be attached to the chain and the eye bolt. Adjust the chain so that the swing is level and it hangs at a comfortable height. When you are satisfied, fully tighten the nut on the quick link with pliers or a wrench. Periodically check the hardware to make sure it is tight and check the chain and connecting hardware for excessive wear that could cause the swing to fail and result in personal injury. See the use and care page for information on how to maintain your swing. Enjoy your jackpot swing.